That looks so pretty. Hello, welcome to Moose Mischief, where we have a fantastic time creating art, making crafts, and conducting science experiments. Today I'm going to show you how to make a rainbow. Here's what you need. A craft stick, glue, a paintbrush, a hole punch, purple, yellow, orange, blue, green, and red paint, a sponge, cotton balls, ribbon, and all these same colors, scissors, watercolor paper, and a paper plate. Okay, let's get started. For the first step, you're gonna get your sponge nice and wet so we can put the paint on it. Now we will put strips of paint in this order onto the sponge. We will start with purple because purple is at the bottom of the rainbow. So I'm just gonna put a little bit, just like that. There we go, that's good. You wanna be really careful when you're doing this so that you do not mix your colors together. Now you'll do the same thing with the blue. Next is green. There we go. Next will be yellow. Then orange. And lastly, we'll add red. And there we have the colors of our rainbow. All right, now grab your craft stick and then we're gonna spread the paint out on the sponge a little bit. So I'm gonna start with the purple. And then I'm just gonna spread it out just a little bit on my sponge. And then I'm gonna take my craft stick and wipe it off. Next, I'll spread out the blue. Be careful not to get it into the purple or the green. Now I'm gonna spread out the green and I don't want it to get into the yellow or the blue. Oh, that looks pretty nice. I'm gonna do that all the way across. And now let's do the red for the top of our rainbow. I've got it all spread out. Okay, so pick up your sponge and make sure the purple's at the bottom because that's gonna be the bottom of our rainbow and grab your watercolor paper. So now take your sponge and dip it just like this upside down and then make an arc for a rainbow. Just like that. And there we go, we have our arc. And you can go over it several times. Just make sure you keep the purple at the bottom so you can make sure that the colors are all spread out the way you like them. Looks pretty good. If you'd like to fix up your rainbow, you can use the paintbrush. Now set it aside to dry, and once it's dry, then you'll cut it out. So now that your rainbow is all dry and cut out, let's add the ribbon. Grab your hole punch and punch holes at the bottom of each color. Make sure you go up a little way so you're not too close to the bottom. Like that. And then let's do it to the other side. Now you'll grab the ribbon and cut some off and tie it to the bottom of your rainbow. So you can cut your ribbon any length that you want. I'm gonna cut mine right about here. I'm gonna make some of them a little bit longer and a little bit shorter because I wanna add some character to my rainbow. But you can cut yours all the same length. It's all up to you. It's your creative vision. That's what's fun about art. You can do whatever you want. So now let's pair up our ribbon to the colors of the rainbow. Okay, let's tie them on. I'm gonna do a double knot to make sure that they stay. Making rainbows is fun. Okay, let's do the same thing on the other side. Next, you'll wanna cut off the excess ribbon. Let's add our clouds. Put four cotton balls on this side of the rainbow and four cotton balls over here to make your clouds. Let's glue them down. They're nice and puffy clouds. Perfect for daydreaming. I'm putting down the last one 
to finish off our rainbow. Oh, doesn't it look magnificent? So let's make it so that we can hang this up in our bedroom. I'm gonna punch a hole right here. Then I'll take the red ribbon and cut a little bit off. And I'll tie it to the top of my rainbow. I chose red so that it would match the color at the top of the rainbow, which is red. All right, and then I'm gonna trim off the excess ribbon like I did before. Look at those puffy clouds. I could just take a nap on them. Now you can go hang up your colorful rainbow in your bedroom. It's bound to brighten up your room and brighten up your day. I had so much fun making this rainbow with you. If you had fun too, like the video below, share it with a friend, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you haven't already, please check out my book, Moose Mischief, a pancake surprise. In the book, the moose claims he's the best chef in Alaska, but is that simply ridiculous? Buy the book to find out.